I chose SOAS because I was really interested in the diverse um, student body that SOAS has to offer and also its focus on decolonization. I um, was really curious to see how decolonization would manifest in the class that I'm taking, development and conflict. SOAS is an institute that specializes in Asia, Africa and the Middle East, hence making it the more exceptional to study my course on gender and conflict. SOAS has been an epitome of multiculturalism and diversity in the world and I think so that is the reason why I chose SOAS. I enjoyed my course from day one to today itself. It's been the best decision of my life so far. Like everything from the lectures to the tutorials to the activities, the guest lectures that we had, the roundtable conference with the activists, everything. I enjoyed everything about my course. My class is very, very diverse. We have students um, from the Red Cross, um, different um, involvement in, in their own sort of government. So I'm not just learning from my professor herself, but also learning from my cohort and what they have to offer based on their in-field experience. We had students from South America, we had students from Africa, from Asia, from India. So these all perspectives from each country and so specific regions, I think so it brings a new perspective all together and it shatters your prejudices and stereotypes about those certain areas that you already have. And so I don't think otherwise I would have gotten this experience if I were just to sort of jump into academia. So I really appreciate that there's this um, bridge between academia and um, people who have experience and, and working in the field. The Feltman Conflict um, class went sort of deeper in, in terms of what the field has to offer. So one day we could go and talk about gender and conflict and another day we talked about um, human security. So this mix of theory and practice makes it the more exceptional and to study in an institute like SOAS, it's the best decision. I love exploring the food market. So one day I can be trying Nigerian food. The next day I could try, you know, sort of seafood um, or Venezuelan food. Like yesterday I went to chat time and tried the bubble tea, which I'd never tried, which is really nice. The Bloomsbury Farmers Market that it's all, always held on Thursdays, that was really interesting as well. And the second best thing was visiting all the touristy places, <laughs> like all the tourists that are just watching movies or read in books. It is an opportunity to meet different people, explore London, and also learn different aspects of yourself. Whether you're willing or not to try new things, whether you're willing or not to be lost in London, um, and then balancing that with uh, sort of very rigorous um, academic um, aspect of what the course is offering. I'll describe it in three words. Friendly, fabulous, and spectacular. <laughs>